you with the the Q Clash has a bit more. Uh, it's had spite in the past, but with the Suns playing pretty well this season, uh, I mean, it's got a, a little bit of bite to it. This one. Yeah, definitely, they're going really, really well. Um, we're looking forward to the challenge. We've played some good teams so far, and. Uh, yeah, to play against the only other team in Queensland uh, is always good and um, they're going along nicely, so looking forward to it. Those rivalry games, you know, the big ones in, in Melbourne, you know, people pencil them in. Do you guys look at those ones ahead of time or not really? Nah, not really. I mean, if you put too much energy into the external stuff and worrying too much about that, then it goes away from what we need to focus on. So, yeah, like I said, we play them twice every year and, and you want to get the wood over them, but, um, yeah, we just treat every game the same throughout the year done the oppo session yet? No, we're actually about to go upstairs and do it now. Well, there goes the next question about what you've seen and <laughs> what's the focus. Well, we obviously have a look at them and they're tr probably trying to take a little bit more territory this year, um, getting it going forward and playing a really exciting brand. They use the corridor a lot, so we'll have to try and protect that. Um, yeah, they're probably playing a little bit differently to what they have in the past, but I'm sure we'll see more when we head upstairs and have a look. It's a word that you've had a mortgage on, un unselfish selfish play, they, they seem, and others, but they seem to be really picking up on that this year too and, and have used it a couple of times when they talk. Yeah, for sure. Well, I think that was one of the first things that we changed when Fags got here and one of the first things that leads to becoming a better team. All the best teams are like that. I mean, Brisbane, <laughs> um, Richmond, Melbourne, you know, when they had their dynasties, they were really selfless teams. They used to pass off best shot mentality, all those sort of things. So Gold Coast are, are doing that and no um, no surprises that they're going better. You've really um, flogged them the last five times you've played them. Is there any concern that um, you'll go in mentally not in the right space? Like last time you played them, you were behind at half time and yeah. then came good. Like how, how do you mentally focus against a team that you've beaten so handily for so long? Yeah, well I think for us, we, we still don't think we've played our best footy yet. Um, as a midfield group, I can speak for the fact that uh, you know, our first quarters haven't been great and we really want to make that right this week uh, and that should just hold us in good stead um, for the game. If we can come out well, we know they're going to come out firing and uh, we just want to put our best foot forward early. The start of the season, there was a lot of talk. It seems to be the last few years, a lot of talk from the Suns. They go, oh, we want to be like Brisbane. We, we want to follow that path that they've built. And, and they, they've said it almost every time at the start of the year. Do, you, does, do the Lions... You know the big brother, little brother kind of thing. Do you do you like keeping them down if they keep trying to come back up? And you, no, no, you you stay down there. You're, you're the little brother. Ah, uh, not necessarily. I mean, we really want footy to grow in Queensland, and for that to happen, we want Gold Coast to go well as well as us. Um, obviously, you want to you want to beat them because that's what you're in the industry to do. You're there to win games. Um, but yeah, it is good to see them go well. It's good for Queensland footy and. Uh, hopefully they don't go too well this weekend, but it, it is good to see. Huey, this is the start of a really important period for you guys. Like the next two months, you're not here much. You're on the road a lot. I don't know it's only 45 minutes down the road, but it's it's a start of not being here. This could be a really defining six, seven weeks for you blokes. Yeah, definitely. We've spoken about that already. Last year when we were on the road for a while, we didn't go as well as we wanted to. We had a patch where we played a few games down at Metricon Stadium last year against Saints, uh, Richmond, and then we went down to Tassie and, and lost all three of them. And we were sort of fighting pretty hard after that to to get into the top four. Um, that that game against West Coast, we had to um, you know play really well to get ourselves in the position. So we don't want to have a, a patch of um, away games where we where we drop the ball like we did last year. Um, your own your own form this year has been I mean, really, really good again. Um, the goal kicking is one of those things that we've talked about over the last couple of years. It seems to be much improved and, and you just seem a lot more confident on the run and the set shots. Is, how much work have you, have you been putting into that sort of stuff over the last sort of two years? Yeah, I've put in a, a lot. I, I tend to get a fair few tough shots. So just trying to simulate um, at training, putting myself into positions where I've got pressure on me, uh, both mentally and and with that physical pressure as well that you get in the game. Uh, I've been able to kick the goals that I think I should have kicked this year and obviously there's been a few that have been close, either touched on the line or, um, you know, haven't quite made the distance, those sort of things. So I'm always working on it. I'm always trying to get better. Was there was there something that just clicked or, you know, I mean, in previous years you, you talked about how difficult the shots were. Um, 
and he's still taking tough shots, but they just seem to be, I mean, going through this year. Yeah, well, Brucey, Brucey came along as a new mids coach, and he, he noticed a couple of things technically that I needed to fix up. Um, and then, obviously, it's just a little bit of confidence as well. In the Essendon game, I was able to get a, a few through early, and then it just stems from there. But uh, I know that I've got to keep working on it, and I want to become great at it as we do it, everything that we do here at the Lions. They're, they're um, Gold Coast midfield, like they're probably partly unproven aside from Tuke Miller, but how do you rate the, that Miller, Rao, mm. Anderson, figure like that crew? Yeah, well obviously Miller um, has been in unbelievable form the last couple of years and he's an extremely dangerous player and then um, Rowley and um, Anderson as well, they're great y young up and coming players, they've been in really good form. I think they're really dynamic, they've got Rowley, Rowley who can um, you know, get in and win the hard ball and he's also dangerous on the spread and then Anderson's been getting the ball over the ground and being damaging as well so yeah we'll, we'll do our work on them and we look forward to the challenge. Was Do you think Collingwood, you touched on earlier how Gold Coast play more direct, do you think that was like almost a good prep, Collingwood playing a similar prep? For sure yeah they try to come through the corridor as well and they probably got us a few times through there, uh, we got lucky at times where we were able to win the ball at the source but yeah, it, it was good prep and we don't think we did it quite as well as we could, um, so hopefully we can fix it up this week. There's been so much talk about the umpires this week and, and the descent and throwing their hands up and it was you guys who started it, Harris was the first one to, to essentially get pinged at the start of the weekend. It's one of those times where you can kind of see a crackdown coming, you know they're going to be really, really hot on anyone who throws. Have you guys done stuff this week to... Train like it's really natural to appeal yeah. for a, a free kick or whatever. Have you, have you done anything to step that out of your system? Yeah, well, we spoke about after the game. We th we thought our discipline wasn't good enough, and it's something that we want to be um, great at. And yeah, we haven't actually trained it, but I think the guys that do get emotional when the free kicks happen have have had a good look at at what they do, and hopefully we we don't do it again this week because I think Brad Scott came out and said that they're gonna they're gonna not stand for any of it and. Um, we, we support that decision as well. We want to get umpires in the local levels and um, yeah, it's just disrespect towards the umpire isn't isn't on. Who gets the um, run with Rolf on, on talk on Miller? Is that Bez's job? Uh, not too sure yet. Look, we haven't even had our team meeting to know who's in the team yet, so uh, we'll wait and see when that gets announced. But yeah, I'd, Bez has done a good job at that. How did Kitty go this morning? got through, trained really well, yeah, so once again I'm not sure if he'll play but I'm sure if he does he'll be, he'll be good to go, he trains very, very well.